What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Black Owl. And welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Black Owl. Today, I'm going to show you how to make some crock pot chocolate lava cake, baby. Ooh, that lava, it's going to get hot in here. So bring your hot self on and let's get started. That's right, baby. Chocolate lava cakes in the crock pot and you're saying to yourself like, oh, a lava cake? What are you out there in Super Mario World, man? No! This here is a lava cake and they call it that because there's, you got your chocolate cake and there's some molten, uh, hot, gooey, ooey, so good, uh, chocolate gooing out of it. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. So, first thing we got to do to get it together, man, gonna have a cake, got to have the cake mix. And today, I just got that old Pillsbury Doughboy because, you know, me and him look kind of alike and we both go, hoo when you tickle us on our, well, I won't get into that. Anyways, go ahead and take that box and it's just some devil's food cake mix. It's the chocolate kind, baby. So, you go ahead and take that thing and the directions for it are right on the back. We're going to follow them to a T because usually, you know me, buddy, I do whatever the hell I want in here. But with the cake, you truly do have to follow the directions pretty good. So, we want to follow those today. Now, first thing that you got to do with that cake, it says on the back. You're going to need a little bit of water, boy, so put that butter in there, that H2O Bobby Boucher. Then, we're going to need a little oil there, and I ain't talking about that stuff that Bobby Labonte puts in his car. I'm talking about that yellow, that good, and not too much of it either. And then, we're going go to go uh, go to the Yardbird's house and borrow three eggs, and we say, Hey, Mr. Yardbird, you mind if I talk to the missus and get them eggs, boy, because I can't afford them at the damn store? Damn! I wear robbery in there. So. Put those in there and now of course the cake mix and it already smells real good now at this point you can whisk it up or if you have an uh, electric mixer which thanks to my pops i inherited his and i got to use it today and, you know i haven't used that thing in a long time it was pretty cool so went ahead and stuck that thing down in there got everything mixing around good baby everything was in there dancing like we had some music on so once you get all that mixed up, set it to the side, and now we got to make our jello pudding there, Cosby, and watch out what you put in it. So, go ahead and take your pudding pop, and you read the back of that box. Same deal, buddy. Can give you the directions right there. So, we're going to take a little bit of that cool milk, that cool running sinker, and put some of that down in there. Now, go ahead and add your pudding mix. And this one, I tried to use the uh, electric machine, but man, it was spraying everywhere like Danny DeVito in that meme. So. I had to go ahead and do it by hand the old analog way. Now, once I got that mixed up, I went ahead and got my old crockery over here, Fred Sanford. And I went ahead and put my cake mix down in there. Thick buddy boy. Wasn't there a band called Cake back in the day? I think there was. So, you're going to go ahead and put your cake down in there. And then, let's go ahead and plop that pudding right down in the middle of it, you know. You want that pudding to uh, kind of dive in there like those at the Olympics. And you know, like I say, you just want to plop it down in there because the key to this is you want that cake to form around the pudding. It's going to make a really good, delicious, yoso, dillies for us. So we uh, got that done. All that's in there. We're going to set that on high. I'm not going to do something myself. And then we'll come back and we'll have us a delicious uh, sight and a delicious bite in about two hours or so of this uh, ooey gooey, lovely lava cake. Tonight, Big Papa. Oh! Alright baby, the time has come. The crock pot lava cake is done. And I'm having that first bite for Big Daddy. Now you know, when you're putting all this together, you're thinking, man, it looks awful thin. I don't know if it's going to work. But then, like Macho Man used to say, the cream rises to the top, brother. The cream of the crop. So we're about to have some creme de la creme de night. Macho Man. And it is creamy too. Soft, yes. Moist. Boy, that cake takes the cake. Got that good chocolate cake. But man, that gooey pudding in there. 
really sets it off in that powdered sugar. You saw we added the powdered sugar right at the end when you're done with that cake, boy. Man, that's a good cake, so. Rich, too, richy rich, so. And sweet, baby. Nice and sweet for the sweet tooth, so. I want to thank all of you little sweeties for watching another episode of Cooking with Black Owl. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on social media. You can also watch all my other cooking videos right here on my YouTube channel, but right now I don't care about that. I care about this cake, so y'all have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Excuse me.